Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? Well, I have been working on my house all day. Um, we ended up getting a, um, a, um, king size bed. We've needed one for so long because I must admit it when I tell people, don't let your children sleep with you and they need to grow up and, you know, be independent and all that. So, you know, you, and you need to keep up your romantic life with your husband even though you're a, an, a parent and blah 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 I sleep with my dogs <laughs> my little dog sleeps on the end of the bed and me and my husband have to turn all night off to get in position so that they can be comfortable <laughs> does anybody else out there like that so um anyway we got a king's size bed and um <sighs> um after we move the old bed out of there we had to clean out the room that it was going into, and we had to clean out from under the bed, and something went wrong with the sink, so Lance had to work on it, so everything came out from out under the sink in the guest bedroom, and so our house has been a total wreck, and I decided to work on it today, which was stupid, because I sing this weekend at Sisters in Christ. Uh, this is the live version. I don't think they're um, live streaming yet, but they will be in March. Um, I will not be on that live stream, but I still highly suggest that y'all um, tune into that, and I'll give you more information on a separate video. But um, anyway, so I've been working on that room, and it, all the dust is getting to me. I'm thinking, don't do that right before you sing, because it, it takes your lung capacity... <clears throat> And your sinuses. I mean, all that affects how you sing. So, that wasn't smart. But, one of the things I found, see this necklace? Y'all remember this my husband gave me for, what did he give me this for? Is it for Christmas? Because he gave me this this ch this chain, and it has, it's the link is little hearts. They're a bunch of little hearts. And to put this cross on, because I had always wanted this particular cross, the same one that I gave him. Um... I got it when I was young. Um, I gave mine away to my middle daughter, Michelle. And so I got another one. Oh, I told my friend. And so she got me another one. I gave that one away to my granddaughter. And then, so I didn't have one. And I wanted that same one. And you couldn't find it anymore. And my husband found it. And when I initially put it on this chain it it looked like to me this is a de more delicate because the, the the way the link falls so I put it on a different chain um, and so I was going to go have the other chain the catch fixed and I had put it in a little bag to take to the jewelry store and put it in my purse but y'all know I change my purse almost every day because I got my little organizer I just take it from purse to purse usually unless it's a size differentiation that's significant like much smaller just to you know do errands or something like that but anyway i usually keep everything in that uncovering things off my guest bedroom bed i found deep down underneath all these clothes it, it's been awful it's been awful how much stuff is built up on that bed because nobody's ever in there all this dust is getting moved around and triggering me and but i found that purse that i'd worn i guess weeks ago and it had that little bag in it I thought I'd stuck it in my jeans pocket. I'm so glad because my jeans had been through the wash and I was so worried it was lost. So that was a praise God moment. I literally prayed right before I opened it. I was like, Lord, please let this be the chain for Lance's sake because he it was sentimental to him that it had little hearts on it. So And me too. So it was important to me. But anyway, in doing all that, I also got a bunch of packages come in. And so I have just let it sit and it got squished a little bit. But it's Guerlain, and it was, um, um, I haven't even looked at this. I'm sure it's just one of those cards. Did I do the scripture this time? Uh, no, it's just, a, um, it says what's in it. But it's pretty, gold with gold writing. That's very pretty just to have a receipt in it. Which a lot of people do that. What is that? What a pretty bag. That's one of the prettiest bags, white with gold. Oh, I bet that's a sample. It's just like, you know, Chanel has their little bag. Well, let's start with the sample, shall we? Cruel Gardenia. That must be a perfume I said I'd like to try. What a terrible name. Cruel Gardenia? Really? Oh, y'all, that's nice. That's really nice. 
Parker Lane's expensive. Y'all should have even looked into this. Anyway, um, advanced youth watery oil. Replumps and soothes and illuminates. I hope it can be around your eyes. Because y'all, I gotta tell you, I'm starting to have, I have concealer on and I'm still starting to get poochy under your eyes that doesn't go away anymore. And my, the product I use usually does help me. Then this is the Orchid La Creme Exceptional Complete Care. That's all it says. So these are just some little samples that I got. And that's all very nice. And a very pretty little bag. That's a really pretty bag, y'all. All right. I know you're like, Beth, what else you get? Okay, I got some makeup items. Oh, first of all, there's the packaging. Black with gold writing. And this is the Mad Eyes Contrast Shadow Duo. And it's dual-ended. And it's an ombre cream stick. So on one end is darker. I'll just show you. So that's the color. And that'll be perfect for lining under the eyes, over the eyes, and then putting a little in the outer V and then um, using a brush and fading that out. And the other end is a highlight color so that you would use on the inner corners, under the brow, and you could do it over the lid. And then again, you could smooth it out with your finger because these are cream products. Oh, sorry. I'll show you this. So it's like a burgundy plum brown and a champagne uh, cream. That's one thing I got. And then I got two lipsticks. I know you're all thinking, Beth, why? Why would you do that? You don't use lipstick that way. Oh, sorry. There's the box. Again, black with gold. And here is the very pretty case. Oh, put some on. Oh, this is so red. And so orangey red. I mixed two colors today. It was a boo-boo. <laughs> I did uh, Chanel strawberry red, and then I also put on top of it um, soft rose, and that is not a good look together. Look, it didn't come off, but I'm just going to do this. I know no YouTuber does that. Let's just see how it looks. It's kind of a mauvey pink. Okay. This is called Eternal Rose number 219. Oops. Why am I just dropping everything today? Hydrating and Plumping Tinted Lip Balm. Is that what both of them are? Plumping 24 hour hydrating. I thought it was 24 hour coverage. This isn't good. It won't stay on my lips. Y'all know that. One's white. Oh, this is a lip tint. This is a lipstick. Hmm, interesting. So, they both have the little cursive Guerlain at the bottom. It's not, um, it's only imprinted. So, what's this? This is kind of cool. It's gold on the end. Oh, it's like a, it's a tint. Oh, this is that product that when it gets on your skin, like a mood ring, it's one of those lip glosses that when it gets on your skin, it starts changes to the color that is most natural to your lips. Let's see if I can make it. I don't have makeup remover, y'all. You can see on the edges of my lips, this is not going to probably work. Who does this? Nobody. Nobody I know on YouTube. They all try their makeup perfect, and they're never tried on as they open it. And I'm like, try it on, try it on. But they've already worked so hard to get their makeup, they don't want to. Is it changing colors right before your eyes? You know what that is? My natural lip color coming through. That's interesting. So it's like a lip tinted lip balm. It does have a little bit of sparkle to it, I'm noticing. See how it looks? Almost like a pink clear. But it is the color of my lips. That's just very interesting. Which you think, well, Beth, that's what clear is, but no. I mean, it is a little bit enhanced, slightly. But it looks like it's, um, it says it's self-adjusting, so that must be why. So that's the colors that I, oh, I didn't show you this on skin. I'll put that right in the middle there. So that's the four colors 
that I got today. Some of you are going, Beth, why would you get lipstick? You only wear Chanel because it's an all day. I thought this was 24 hour coverage, not 24 hour hydration. So this is pretty to carry in your purse if you go with your girlfriends to lunch and you want to do a touch up afterwards because you'll need to because it won't stay on. That's why I don't like lipstick. I only like either a lip stain or actually I wonder what this will do. And you can see it's not as heavy. This is perfect for it. Um, but anyway, look at the pretty packaging too. They're two different colors. I didn't notice that. So that's it, y'all. That's all. Plus the eye product, which I thought would be great to have um, in your purse. So if you ever need to do a quick makeup, you actually have highlighter and a dark color. And that dark color is dark enough you could use it for a liner. You could even dot it and then kind of brush it through with a spoolie brush for your brow. So that's your lane. All the good little treats today. And there again are the colors. They're good colors. And they're all cool toned. The champagne's got a little bit of a peach champagne to it. Again, almost like the lip color. This does look like it's getting a little darker. Just slightly. As it's on my lips. And it is moisturizing. I feel like, I don't know if that's just the tissue pieces. Or if I actually have some little... Um, yeah, I think this just maybe a little bit of tissue because I think it just got on my tongue. <laughs> but um, it could be the little sparkles, and that would not be good because I don't want to feel the sparkles, right? Anyway, what do y'all think? Do you think it's all pretty? I like it. Just sometimes you got to do a little treat. I do a lot of treats, don't I? <laughs> anyway, that is part of my job here on YouTube, even though it's not my full-time job. I love y'all. I'll talk to you again soon. <gasps> Tell me your comments below. What do you think of these? Which one do you like the best out of all the stuff? Including the samples.